June 8th babies. Happy birthday to everyone born on June 8th. Let's see what your solar year energy looks like. This is your wish card, so make a wish. I'll be pulling that at the end. Okay, so what do we have here? Mars, Gemini, and third house. So we're looking at the theme of the year. Mars is coming in strongly. What I am feeling here is slow down. Um, assertiveness is great. Aggression is not very masculine energy, very fiery energy, taking action this year in some certain areas in your life. Now, Mars is warlike too, so that's why I'm picking up here that think before you do make any major actions, moves this year. I feel there are lessons um, that that you may learn this year too, is, what come, is what's showing up. With um, what is in focus here is Gemini, so you, yourself, or Another Gemini is present here as well. Um, they can be helping you this way this year. They could be hindering you, but Gemini energy is coming through also at the time of Gemini. So this could be now. I feel you've got a yes answer. Do something now. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's coming through there. Um, now we are dealing with the results here is the third house. All forms of communication. Siblings, community, writing, um, communications. That I, what I feel here, I don't know. I'm picking up like maybe some of you will be dealing with an Aquarius energy too. And when we're looking at the third house, it's creativity. But there is something here that needs to be adjusted as well. So it's a good year for writing, communicating, things like that. The theme card for your for the year, you got the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so... There are um, there is an energy here of practicality, um, needing to be practical. Um, don't be too stuck on to hold holding on to energy is what I wanted to say. Sometimes when we hold on to energy too tightly, it becomes obsessive or it it goes against us. We need to let energy free flowly. Um, focus on maybe saving this year is going to be very important as well. Okay, maybe reevaluating things. So it's kind of telling you to um, hold off think before you do make any moves. This is another way I'm feeling here. You may be taking back your power and control over um, some aspect in your life. Could be your finances, work, or so on. And the gemstone um, crystal card you got for the year is aquamarine. Aquamarine, it says, are your emotions in turmoil? Are you feeling uneasy? Spend time at the water's edge to regain emotional balance. Clear away any negative energy you may have accumulated from unsettling conversations or negative internal dialogue. I do gemstone readings and crystal readings, so um, when I see aquamarine, it tells me you need a balance. It can be quite emotional. Trusting your intuitions, rebalancing your emotions somehow, some way. For what I'm picking up here, um, there's a sense of your intuition could be um, strengthened this year. Enjoy time in creative pursuits instead of being stuck more in your head. Um, listen to music. Go out. Uh, that's a good way. Uh, dwelling into creativity to balance any kind of um, edginess or frustrations this year. Um, also, listen to songs, music, positive ones. There can be some messages there, too. So that is coming through strongly. And your energy for the day for today, uh, uh, June 8th, is temperance. Temperance is a major arcana. Temperance means patience, rebalancing, okay? It does warn when we're kind of combining everything together. Is it, This is really matching here for the year, is rebalancing your energies, doing things differently, taking back control in your life, but switching up your routines, okay? It's very spiritual as well. Just know that things don't work out. Redo them, okay? Review them, recalibrate, and then keep moving forward because I also feel that you're going to have to be patient because there could be things happening today because this is, this is basically the energy for today. Um, you know, maybe something is delayed, a, a plan gets adjusted or canceled, but it's going to work out in your favor. You have trust. And for your wish, two of wands. Okay, so two of wands is moving forward, making a choice and decision. It's usually a yes answer. For some of you, it could be um, thoughts that you had or um, a decision to make between whatever it is. It could be anything in your life. These are thoughts, too. There is, um, I feel like there's an 
Libra energy for some of you, okay? Maybe it's just needing that balance and trying to decide something. Just slow down, okay? Don't move too fast on this wish, too, so from what I'm seeing here. Okay, now overall, I am seeing um, even a Pisces type of energy may be present during your solar year is coming into, into focus or someone who exhibits those energies. I feel a lot of major changes are going to be occurring too. And um, pay attention to messages. Messages are coming through. Spiritual and, um, what are they called? Um, like real messages. Good news should be coming through. Some of you may be, this could be good for social media as well. So yeah, even travel may be coming through. Um, I feel the numbers that are significant for... Today, June 8th, for your solar year are, is 4, 14, and 2. Okay, I know you guys know how to focus. Sometimes you overanalyze. Um, that's kind of a trait for a lot of um, June 8th babies, too. There's power to you. All right, happy birthday, June 8th. If you liked um, a reading like this, my website is, list is listed below. Bye for now.